Mi casa es tu casa, my house is your house, is a binational networked virtual reality playhouse. Half of it's here in San Diego at the Children's Museum. The other half is in Mexico City at the National Center for the Arts. It has two physical spaces in each of these locales. And within these physical spaces, there are a number of things that kids can play with and interact with, some oversized tools, a giant ball they spin around, a kind of magic mirror. Um, and while they're doing that, they're inputting events into a computer that creates a 3D computer graphic uh, representation of what they're doing. And that 3D computer graphic representation is shared by both physical spaces. Through that uh, computer-mediated space, the kids from San Diego and Mexico City have a place where they interact and play in their own physical environment and also with the kids in the computer-mediated virtual space. For instance, one thing that happens in the space is, you know, the kids go in, they get this little virtual character uh, assigned to them as they first go into the space. One of the things that they can do, and one of the first things they usually do, is they go up to this magic mirror and they can kind of compose their virtual character from, from these kind of palettes of choices. The computer-mediated environment is created by uh, a few kind of key technologies. Um, as kids walk into the space, uh, they are, there's a video camera overhead that uh, watches their movements through the space and through some computer vision processing, um, tracks the kids, sends their position, uh, direction, um, and ID numbers. Uh, to computers in both Mexico City and San Diego. The computer that's drawing the virtual environment is a uh, Onyx uh, uh, Reality Engine 2 computer that um, draws these uh, 3D texture map virtual environments in real time. It takes this position and data information in and uh, then updates the virtual environments based on all the information it's receiving, both from the, the computer vision processing computer and also from all the computer user interfaces. The connection between the two cities uses the internet to send data back and forth. In a standard kind of video game, um, the narratives are very prescribed. Um, they're, they're generally very closed. In this piece, there are kind of overall project narratives about, uh, you know, about these regional concerns and the playhouse and play. Um, but the kids, while they're doing the project, are really looking at their narratives at the moment are, you know, well, I was that character, now I'm this character, now now who's that over there, and they're changing this playhouse in this way, and I'm trying to change it this way, and, and if we all go over there, we can be in this flying machine, and, you know, and there's, so there, those are the kind of narrative experiences they're having, which, you know, are just their, uh, <clears throat> their actions, their desires, um, uh, of the moment of where the project is going. I hope and I think they're very kind of open-ended ways for them to engage this environment. <laughs> Virtual reality was a popular term that came up uh, you know, eight, ten years ago in a kind of pop cultural way described a certain type of experience that one could have with computer-mediated environments where, where the computer-mediated environment would um, fake everything, 
perceptually for a person and take them out of a physical space into one that's pure mediation. You know, and it's based on a lot of work that primarily came out of uh, defense industry simulations. And I think the problem, the problem that I've kind of had with uh, a popular understanding of virtual reality is that, that it kind of creates a fantastic world versus a kind of real, real world and makes a distinction between them where I think what's more profound and more interesting is the more complex way in which our experience of a mediated world and our experience of a physical world uh, intertwine. And that this intertwining of these things is something that has a, uh, a very long history, it goes back to the first drawings that were made, the first stories that were told, the first time we start you know, living in thinking in multiple ways between you know, memory and uh, our experiences of the moment, our desires for the future, that we exist with many types of sets of experiences overlaying each other, influencing each other, um, that there's not a simple compartmentalization between you know, what the physical world is and what the virtual world is. Um, Computer-based mediated experiences are the new terrain, the new kind of significant cultural experiences that that we're creating and that we will create in in the future. Then I think we need to have this more kind of sophisticated or complex understanding of how computer-mediated space can function, can operate, can work. Um, if we continue to kind of think of it as, the, as these kind of more naive notions that it's this kind of separate fantasy space, then it is just going to stay as a space for children. And in some way, using doing this project that works with children um, is a way to really elevate a lot of the kind of methods and tropes by which virtual reality operates to hopefully a, 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 a more complex level.